creating these crepe paper irises. The first thing we're going to do is create patterns to follow to create the petals. So I'm just folding a piece of paper in half and it doesn't need to be very wide because the petals aren't very wide. So I just folded it like this and then I'm taking a pencil and I'm just drawing half of the petal onto the paper along the fold line. This will be one of the top petals in the iris and I suggest looking up a picture of an iris and just using it as a guideline as you're making these petals. And I'm making this about the same height as the bottom petal. So when you're happy with the shape, just go ahead and cut that out. And you can always change the shape after you've cut it out. Just fold it back up. So it ended up looking like this and I decided I wanted to cut some off the top. And this iris ended up being pretty big so if you'd like a smaller iris be sure to make your petals a little smaller than this. So this is how it ended up looking. How it looks when it's folded. And then I just labeled it with the top petal. And then I went ahead and repeated this process on the bottom petal and the center of the flower, which all look like this. So I'll be using the center pattern first, and I'm using two colors of purple crepe paper. This is the darker of the two. So I'll be tracing the center pattern onto this and make sure that the folds in the paper are going vertically. And just trace around it. And then trace two more. So you have three, and then go ahead and cut those out. So they look like this, and then I just took each one and I stretched it out in the middle. And you can do some stretching on those top parts also, and kind of bend those backwards. So it should get this rounded shape like this. And I repeated that on all three. They look like this. For the stem of the flower, I'll be using 16 gauge floral wire. It looks like this. Feel free to use a bigger gauge of wire if you'd like. And we'll be attaching these centers to the end of this with a glue gun. This part is totally optional, but if you'd like to add some extra coloring to your flower, you can take some yellow soft chalk pastel and take an X-Acto knife and just scrape some pigment off the end. And then you can use your finger or a paintbrush to apply it to the inside of the petal. Or you can take the pastel directly to the petal and just draw on it and then blend it out with your finger or a brush. So I repeated this on all three and they ended up looking like this. So there's just a dusting of yellow. Now we're going to attach them to the wire. So we'll just be positioning all three around the wire here. So just put some glue on the back of each one of these and glue it to the end of the wire. And add the second one. And finally the third. So at this point it should look like this. Next we'll be creating the top petals, so I'm using my lighter purple crepe paper and tracing the petals onto this. And again, make sure that the folds in the paper are going vertically. And then just trace the pattern. Once again, you'll want to make three of these. Once you've done that, cut them out. They should look about like this. And then I'm just taking some purple chalk this time and adding some color on these petals. Once again, you do not have to do this. And then just spreading the color out. And I repeated that on all three. And then I'm taking some 24 gauge floral wire. And I'm just gonna straighten out a section. It doesn't need to be perfectly straight. It just works better if it's a little straighter. And then just hold it up to the petal and decide how long to cut it. You'll want to leave a couple inches here at the end. So it looks like this. 
Once you're happy with it, put some hot glue on it and attach it to the back of the pedal. So just put hot glue along the whole length of the pedal and then hold it in place. Finally, we're going to add some finishing touches to the pedal. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I want to make the edge less even because on the real flowers, the petals have some nicks in them and variation in the edge. So I'm just going to go ahead and randomly cut little pieces out. And then I'm just stretching out at the very end so it creates kind of this ruffled effect. just stretching a little bit in the center but you don't want it to become too wide so it looked like this and now we're just going to bend it into the shape it needs to be so I just bend it straight at the bottom and then a curve in it and then a curve back forward at the top and again it's very helpful to look at a picture of an iris or if you have a real one that's great while you do this to see the shape that the petal needs to be and then just keep making adjustments until you like how it looks. So it ended up looking like this. And now we're just going to attach it to the stem. And we're going to put it in between each of the center pieces. So just put some hot glue on the end of the wire and the bottom of the petal and push it into place. Make sure that it's well attached. So it looks like this. And then we're just going to repeat this two more times with the two other petals. So I'm going to hurry and do the second petal and I'll meet you back here in just a second. So it looks like this, and then I have the third petal here ready to go. Put glue on the end, and I put it in place on the stem. So it looks like this at this point. Finally, we're going to do the bottom petal, and I'm using my darker colored paper again, and just tracing three of these with the folds going vertically and cut those out. And this is another optional step, but I'm going to add some extra coloring to this petal with some acrylic paint. You can also use chalk pastel if you'd rather. So I'm using a very small paintbrush and just a tiny little bit of white acrylic paint to draw these lines onto the petal. And I'm looking at an image of an iris while I do this. Now I'm just dabbing on a tiny bit of yellow acrylic paint with a wider brush to add some yellow color and then I'm taking a Tombow marker that is purple and adding some darker color at the bottom of the petal. And I repeated this process on all three petals so they look like this. Now take one of the petals and I'm just going to add some variation to the edges once again. Just cutting random pieces out. So it looked like this. Next I'm using the 24 gauge wire once again to attach it. So I just straightened out a section of it and cut it with a few inches at the bottom. And then use hot glue to glue it to the back of the petal. And throughout the process of making this flower you'll want to be careful not to burn yourself on the hot glue. Then finally, I'm taking the petal and I'm bending it into the shape that I want it to be. So it's straight at the end of the wire and then it curves out and then it curves in and then it curves back out at the very bottom. 
You can definitely readjust these after they've been attached also. Now I'm cutting a rectangle of yellow orange crepe paper and folding it in half. Sorry, this is out of frame. But here I'm showing you again. I just cut a rectangle and then I folded it in half and then you'll take scissors and cut little strips and be careful not to cut all the way through to the fold. But you wanna cut little strips all along it. And then put a little hot glue towards the end on each side just to hold the fold together. And then you can just kind of squish and bend those pieces that are sticking up so they are kind of randomly positioned. And then we're going to glue this to the bottom petal. Just put glue along the bottom of it and then put it along the petal so it goes to the end of the petal. Get everything positioned. And now we're going to glue it to the stem and it will go in between those upper petals so it lines up with the center pieces. Just put glue on the end and then press it into place. So it looks like this. And then I repeated that with the second petal here. So it looks like this at this point. And then finally I added the third petal and we are almost done. So next cut four kind of leaf shapes out of green crepe paper and then take them and stretch them out in the middle so they become curved. And these will just go at the bottom of the flower to cover up the wire. So put some glue on the bottom of these and attach them to the stem. So I put one here and make sure that they are well attached. Then I took another one and I'll just put it opposite of the other one so it covers up the other side. And I took the next one and I put it lower and then the last one on the other side so it looked like this finally I'm taking some green floral tape I'm going to attach it at the top with some hot glue so it covers the end of the crepe paper. And this works best if you stretch it as you put it around the stem. So try to do that. And then we'll just be wrapping the entire length of the stem or until you get close to the bottom. Then once you get to where you wanna end it, just put a little hot glue and wrap it around so it's extra secure. So this is the finished flower. And I chose not to, but if you'd like to add leaves, feel free to do that. But I hope you enjoyed this Cray Paper Iris video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I plan to do more Cray Paper flowers in the future, and if you'd like to see more from my channel and you haven't already, feel free to subscribe, and I hope you have a great day.